Okay, Trump's okay here. Trump's okay here. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room on the caution to keep the fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck, Bruno Suarte. Touch him up. This is the reason to love boxing. No moment in sport matches this. Suspense. It took a long time to clear a crowded ring. Many believe that Margarito will try to jump Cotto from the beginning and use his bigger, stronger body to put pressure on the Puerto Rican fighter. Cotto seems ready for that. Both fighters using the jab early on. Now, one of the things that impressed me, being in opposite corner against Margarita, his defense is much, much better than is appreciated. Since he got his career rolling, Antonio Margarito has never lost to a shorter man. But Miguel Cotto has stared down taller opponents before. Early on, it's Cotto who's the more accurate puncher. He's landed his jab a couple of times and landed a good left hook. Now there's an uppercut for Margarita. And the first minute produces more of a boxing match than some expected. And Cotto confidently steps inside and whips the left hook again. Margarito coming forward behind the jab. Margarito's giving Cotto a lot of respect in this first round. Yeah, I think he's fighting a very, very small. I think Margarito's fighting a very, very good fight. He's catching punches. And his jab is being very effective, too. He's not as flashy, but his jab is still very effective. Good left hand by Cotto. Both fighters have had some offensive moments. Cotto lands the right hand and holds it up for the crowd to see. Miguel Cotto looks very sharp, very quick in yeah. the early going. Another left hook. Margarito lands his own left simultaneously. Flurry by Cotto. Margarito looking for opportunities, but putting space between the punches. Now the left uppercut for Margarito. And he steps in in the corner and fires away. Cotto calmly fights his way out, switches southpaw. Good job slipping the right hand there. And another combination. Cotto counters perfectly. Terrific left hooks by Cotto. Margarito misses the uppercut. It's been a very precise first two and a half minutes. Both men boxing. Cotto goes to the body first. Kenny Bayless says keep him up. Cotto says they were right on the belt line. A skillful first round. But at the end of the day, it appeared Cotto has had more moments than Margarita. Use your jab, use your jab. Jab, the right hand, and then the uppercut. And be careful with the counter punch. That's what he's using. He's using the counter punch, but be more intelligent. Be focused. Focused on what he's doing. Because he can do the jab. Careful with his elbows. Careful with his elbows because he puts them in. Very, very nice first round. All right? Let's do the same thing. Here we see what may have been the cleanest punches of the whole round. Even though a lot of punches were thrown, the right hand and left hand right between the gloves by Cotto, I think, was the best clean punches that landed during that round. CompuBox number pretty one-sided. Margarito 12 out of 57. Cotto 32 out of 70. That's a the stunning round statistical round. That's the round I saw. I thought Cotto fairly dominated the round with his boxing stuff. Well, I think that's, a, that's the way that most boxing experts expected the first round to go, even the guys who picked Margarito. But Cotto is a much better boxer, much faster, much more crisp a puncher. But what's going to happen after about four or five rounds is really what's the big question. Margarito starts to smoke, and then we'll find what's what. I'm just surprised that Margarito hasn't tried to produce more pressure early on. 
If Antonio Margarito only throws 57 punches in a round, that's a slow round for him. He's showing tremendous respect for Cotto's skill and speed. Cotto sticking his jab right between Margarito's gloves. Margarito reaching, lunging, hasn't really found the timing to land repeated combinations yet. Now he gets in a wide right hand on the cheek of Cotto. The, the drama here is also Margarito's such a good puncher, and Cotto has been on the canvas and rocked before. Now Margarito gets the space he wants and eats an uppercut for his trouble and smiles at Cotto as if to say, all right, now we're fighting. Watch your heads, watch your heads. Kenny Bayless says, watch your heads. They're That's landing easy. with their hands. But, but Cotto's going, but Margarita is really putting a lot of pressure on him, unlike any he's ever had. And pressure from a taller fighter is different than from a shorter fighter. And Margarita still... landed an excellent right hand about 10 seconds ago. Let's see, right here, Margarita's walking him down again. He's not letting him get that space. He's taking his space from him. Cotto's still patiently hunting for the counter-punching opportunities. Margarito is starting to develop the volume which has typified his career. Cotto pounding him with repeated left hooks. Both fighters have said hello in round two. Margarito hammering Cotto to the body in the corner. I figured this would get to this about the fourth round. It's happening earlier. Because Cotto cannot merely just outbox this man. The man picks most of the punches off. No, He's it's gonna have to fight it. Cotto with two good left hooks upstairs. Margarito drives him back with a right hand. Unbelievable. They took a round to warm up. And this is the fight that everyone expected to see. Indeed. There's blood oh, coming yeah. from the nose of Miguel Cotto. So Margarito's made his mark in terms of drawn blood. And the Mexican fans in the crowd love that. Cotto chopping and chopping with the left hand. Margarito firing with the right. It's a punch, counter punch, confrontation. What a round, round two has been. Wow. Most of the crowd of 12,500 stood up to applaud that round. Okay, 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 okay. Espera, espera. Okay. Where's the blood from? Okay, it's okay. Not a problem. Breathe. Breathe deeply. He's going good? All right. A little water now. Throw it out. He's going to want to do everything. He's going to go through. Headbutts, keep your distance. Keep your distance. Here you see Cotto landing beautiful clean shots. He's landing most of the clean effective punches, fighting off the ropes very effectively. But how long can he keep going if Margarita takes those tight punches and keep putting that pressure on? That's the question. Copy box numbers in round two were spectacular. Cotto 35 out of 80. Margarito 33 out of 96. Together they landed 54 power shots. So it has suddenly become the gunfight that everyone anticipated. Now let's see if Cotto can begin to make it more of a boxing match again. Cotto trying to use his feet, create space, and limit the volume of Margarito's punches. Margarito trying to crowd Cotto into the corners and against the ropes where he can fire away at will. Cotto counters off the ropes with the left hook. A pattern that begins to repeat throughout the fight. Combination punching from Cotto. And he backs away again. Right hand and a left uppercut for Cotto. Margarito landed a right hand. Now they go back to the phone booth again. Cotto lands two body shots and a left hook upstairs. Margarito reaching with a left and with two body shots of his own. Hard right hand over the top for Margarita. Cotto with a right and a left inside. Again, they trade body shots. Cotto's was the harder blow. Cotto, a 
variety of punches from Cotto in that combination. Margarito just keeps coming. Body shot, two uppercuts, chopping right hand. Cotto comes back with three punches of his own. I think Margarita right now, his defense is doing very well. He's catching a lot of punches and steadily applying pressure all while he's blocking punches. Even though I have Cotto winning, it looks pretty rough going down the stretch. Good left hand by Cotto creates space again. We've seen fights this year like Marquez Vasquez, but it's not at this size. These are regular sized guys. Warning for Margarito right. for a low blow. He hit Cotto right on the hip. It's just unreal for welterweights of this size to be trading these kind of shots in a sustained way like this. We promised violence. You're getting violence. And so far, up. it's playing out the way most envision. Margarito chasing Cotto around the perimeter of the ring. Cotto's superior boxing ability giving him the advantage, but Margarito very live. And as the fight wears on, he gets busier and busier and increasingly dangerous. Every time Cotto plants his feet, they trade shots. Every time Margarito lands a punch, Cotto counters sometimes with two. Don't be overconfident. Don't be overconfident. No time. Water on his head. Everything's okay. I'm doing good. Don't be overconfident. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. No, forget the hitting. See a little bit of face? Okay. Don't worry about it. You have no. There's no reason to be on the inside. Put your hands on the inside and get out. This right here is consistent of the pattern of the fight. A, Margarita very aggressively coming in, but Cotto landing the clean precision punches. And steadily moving away after that to avoid getting caught in any exchanges. Averaging jabs per round through the first three rounds, according to Coffee Box, Cotto 9 of 26. Margarito not as accurate with his jab, only landing 3 out of 32 per round. Our first chance to check in with our unofficial scorer, Harold Letterman. How do you have it through to it? Two rounds to one. 29. 28, Miguel Cotto. Jim Ethel Miguel Cotto did a nice job of round one. He won that. In round two, Antonio Margarito got him up against the ropes, got real good leverage, and got his shots off. But in round three, Miguel Cotto kept moving to the left, and he was just out punching him whenever he stopped. But be as it may, I don't think Antonio Margarito is doing a great job cutting off that ring. What he's doing is he's chasing him. He ought to step to his right and whack him. Be as it may, two to one, Miguel Cotto. Margarito, whose head pops up. The question if the fight continues like this is can Cotto sustain this pace? Margarito typically gets stronger as the fight wears on. Absolutely. That's my biggest concern if I was in Cotto's corner. I know I had the better fighter, but can he sustain this pace for 12 rounds? But Margarito's putting out a lot of pressure on him. And Margarito's defense is a lot better than the public is getting credit for. Miguel Cotto hasn't exactly faded in the late rounds in fights against guys like Judah and Mosley. I think it's fairly audacious, guys, for you to question whether Miguel Cotto can finish. But, of course, Margarito yeah, he's, he's a big is a man. unique pressure fighter. He's a big, big man. And it's a different thing. And he throws punches from all angles. He bangs on your shoulders, your elbows, your head. He's throwing a lot of punches from different angles. And just the psychological pressure Margarito exerts by constantly coming forward. And taking the best punch sometimes. And having such a rock-solid chin. He's shown his chin, that's for sure. That Cotto has landed anxiety. some solid shots like that straight right hand. Margarito is walking through Cotto's best firepower. Yes, he is. Cotto is winning the fight, but he's going to have to be prepared to go 12 rounds like this. And that's going to be very, very difficult. Well, most who favored Cotto favored him on points. And he, he does seem to show that he can outbox Margarito most of the way. No doubt about it. Cotto is putting on quite a display of skill 
Margarito is putting on an equally impressive display of will. Body shots by Antonio. Cotto may regret having stopped in a corner, but now he comes back with a hard right hand and a left hook and an uppercut. Three clean shots. Another left hook for Cotto. Down the stretch of round four, it was Miguel Cotto who scored. Breathe, breathe, breathe with me. Good. Let me, let me work the eye. Breathe again. He's frustrated already. He's already frustrated. Use the attack. The inside on the outside. You've got to work him. You've got to throw punches. Throw punches and connect, connect, connect. Don't let him build. Here you see Margarito's pressures. He's throwing a lot of different punches at Cotto. And the thing about it, his punches come from different angles. He doesn't throw the same punch over and over. Beautiful short right hand right there. But Cotto is such a sharp, precision punch. He comes right back and catches him at the end of the round. Beautiful short left hook. Round five begins. Compu box count in round four. Had Cotto landing 23 of 67 to 15 of 86 for Margarito. A much higher percentage for Cotto, built on his nine out of 29 jabs. Once again, Cotto starts the action in round five. Then begins circling to his left again. He's circling away from Margarito's left hook into Margarito's right hand. As Harold Letterman pointed out, you wonder when Margarito will step over to the right and try to begin cutting off the ring. Margarito keeps leaving himself open to Miguel Cotto's left hand. A lot of Miguel Cotto's good shots have been the left hook and the jab. But you, Cotto is really a southpaw. He's left-handed. That's why his power punches his left jab and his hook. But uh, Margarito, who is a little bit slower, but he punches good with both hands, even though he's a little slower. Margarito able to find Cotto with the right hand there. Now lands a roundhouse right. Cotto stands and fights again, then moves away. Cotto holding his gloves very high in this round, guarding his head. Uppercut by Cotto. Stops Margarito in his tracks. And he moves away again. Good block there by Cotto. Cotto having to use his feet over and over and over under relentless pressure from Antonio Margarito. Margarito's got him sliding along the ropes most of the fight now. He's keeping him fighting off of the ropes. And that's not good. Margarito also appears to be getting a little yeah. closer with those right He's hands. Close and closer. That's right. Because a tall guy that shoots a right hand over your shoulder that's not too wide can catch you, especially when you get tired. And they stand still in trade. Cotto lands more punches. Oh, he's, he's definitely but he angry. doesn't want to do it much. He wants to keep moving away. Body shot by Margarito. Cotto momentarily moves to his right. Steps up, fires two left hands, then moves away again. Cotto having to use his feet to limit the pressure over and over. Margarito dancing with it, trying to cut him off. Cotto lands a left hook and moves away again. Another straight left hand lands for Cotto. Margarito frustrated as he looks for opportunities. Very frustrated. And Cotto realizes he's winning the fight, but he's got six or seven more rounds of going at this pace. If he can do that, he can win the fight. But if he can't, he's going to have a big problem. But the cleaner punches belong to Miguel Cotto. He tends to win the flurries. And this is what makes us depend on what kind of judge you are. A lot of judges like the guy going forward. Two and hard right hands for Margarito. Cotto comes back with the left. Eats another right hand. Ducks three right hands in a row. But if you go by clean punches, Cotto's winning almost every round. You're waiting too much. You're waiting too much with your mouth open. Come on, go. Cut his exits. Cut his exits. Use the jab. Use the right hand. Come on, move your head. I told you already. Come on, man. Start moving on the inside. You're looking for just one punch. Don't look for just one punch. What happened? Everything's okay. Everything's okay. 
Ándale. Están yendo los rounds. No más mi quiero. Hago, mi hijo. ¿Quieres agarrarlo aquí? Okay. Y a va, veces ese güey está así. Chinga, sumételo aquí okay. así. Va. Va, André. Va. Izquierda y derecha. Tenga mi hijo. Lo hacemos en el medio, güey. Use the combinations on the inside, and we use them very nicely. Come on, Joe, don't stay in there with them. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go, let's go. Ampia box numbers in the fifth round. Total 14 to 25 power shots, 56%. 15 to 34 jabs. Overall, 29 of 59. Margarito threw 105 punches, but landed only 20% of them. Cotto wins the round again on Harold Letterman's scorecard and starts to build a working margin there. We were expecting a classic, and what we have so far is a classic performance by Miguel Cotto. But the fight does give you the sense, especially when Cotto drops his hands as he did at the end of the last round to avoid punches, that it could turn on a dime with Margarito's pressure and power punching. And you heard Leon Capetillo, Margarito's trainer and father figure, asking him to speed up. Come on, get in harder and throw more shots. He only threw 105 punches in the last round. Javier Capetillo, excuse me. And here Margarito. Low blow by Margarito and he got away with it. But here he picks up where he left off at the end of the last round, at least throwing more punches and landing some with force, even when they don't land cleanly. And Kogo comes back with two solid uppercuts and backs away again. As long as Cotto can show the judges that he lands the cleaner punches, he can probably get away with being the constant retreater. If Margarito begins to land more, then the fact that he's going forward and applying all the pressure may augur in his favor. Another brilliant rally by Cotto, and he moves away. And another big uppercut. It's interesting that one guy is putting all the pressure on, and another guy is retreating, as you say, but landing the really clean, effective punches. So this fight it, like could be judged anyway. But anyway, I feel Cotto's definitely won almost every round virtually right me. But there have been very tough competitive rounds, and the momentum seems to be moving towards Margarito, though. I showed you his skill right there, shouldering Margarito off and landing a clean right hand, picking his spot there and landing a left hook. Margarito firing, firing, firing. Not as accurate, not as sharp, but constantly keeping the pressure off. One minute to go in round six. Cotto with another one of his flurries. And another uppercut. Margarito misses with the right hand as Cotto steps away. Through most of his career, Miguel Cotto has used his feet to put pressure on opposing fighters. Tonight he's trying to use his feet to keep pressure off. It's a classic reversal. And now Margarito throws all the shots as Cotto looks for space. Yeah, right away, as soon as he lands that flurry, Margarito's running him down again. And that's the very discouraging to any fighter. Hard right hand by Cotto. And a good left hook. Margarito fires away to the body three times. I think Cotto's actually dominating this round again. But Margarito is really making him pay a price in this round with those body shots. Cotto blocked most of those and then slipped the others. But it looks to the crowd as though Margarito is putting all the pressure on. Tremendous combat in the sixth. The family Cotto at ringside. There's the misses. There are four children surrounding them. Breathe deeply, breathe deeply. Let's see. Open the mouth. Doing very good. Don't stay, don't stay against the ropes too long. Get out there, get outside, move. Come on, son, you're inside. Throw, throw the hook. Here you see Margarita putting on a tremendous amount of pressure, but he's paying the price. As he's coming in, applying the pressure, momentum may be going in his direction, but the clean punches are landed by Cotto. Power shots in round six. Miguel Cotto, 20 out of 44. Antonio Margarito threw 75 the power water, shots, the water. but landed 22 of them. So the much higher connect percentage for Cotto. And Harold Letterman, how do you have it halfway through? Okay, Jim. 58, 56, four rounds to two. Uh, Miguel Cotto. Jim, Miguel Cotto is boxing a beautiful fight. 
winning this fight at three punches and winning general shit. But in round six, Antonio Margarito figured the only way I'm going to get to this guy is to slow him up with body shots. And I thought he whacked real well to the body to win that round. I've got a four to two total, but Jim Bellis has got to let Margarito fight inside. Otherwise, Margarito don't have a chance. Certainly, Margarito Emanuel, as you mentioned, changed the momentum in the last round. Yeah, the momentum to me is going to Margarito, even though he may be losing the fight. But he, he's getting closer and closer. He's landing his punches, and he's working that shot I told you about up through the center very effectively now, the left uppercut. You see that? There it is again. This is the first round where I feel that Margarito is fighting on even terms with Cotto. So even, even if I would be in Cotto's corner, I would be really... Cotto's hurt, guys. Cotto's badly hurt by a series of Margarito uppercuts. They hammered him. Margarito goes right back to the left-hand uppercut. Cotto is in trouble along the ropes. Biggest trouble he's been in oh, since the Ricardo Torres fight several years ago. Margarito stalking and stalking. And this ain't Ricardo Torres. Cotto's looking for breathing room, and there is none. He has to fight his way out for breathing room. He gets hit by a hard right hand. Margarito throwing uppercut after uppercut. He might launch 120 punches in the round. Cotto turns southpaw. Hits Margarito with a left hand and backs away. Miguel Cotto blowing blood out of his nose and his mouth after that violent assault by Antonio Margarito. I think we're seeing the effects of that body work that Harold was talking and about. And now a series round. of clean punches for Cotto. And another left hook gives him breathing room to back away. Cotto blocking most of these, but under severe pressure as he does so. Switches south pro again. Hits Margarito in the mouth with a left hand. Margarito with an unbelievable chin just keeps coming. It's that amazing Margarito beard that's putting a lot of pressure on Miguel Jim. Cotto. Miguel just can't hurt him. Jim, this is exactly the way I figured the fight was going to go. Now we have our classic. But you know, Cotto has shown his grit. Cotto has been in these situations some to some degree, but never with a big man like this. Tremendous so shots by Cotto. A hard right hand by Margarito. And he lands another uppercut. Cotto trying to get a left. What a round. Here you see Margarito Roland putting on tremendous pressure, throwing so many punches, and all of them are powerful, particularly the left uppercuts, which I predicted would be his best punch in us. But right now, Cotto's having a problem because all of those such as the short left hook, it was just a matter of so many punches coming from so many angles. Antonio Margarito has legendary stamina. He enhanced that credential in that round, throwing 130 punches, landing 48 of them. 46 of 104 power shots. Cotto landed 23 of 52. And some of them were hellacious punches. But Margarito is walking right through them. It's a lot of guys who had those big volume of punches, but usually they're guys who don't have much punching power. Margarito is one of the few guys that throws a lot of punches and has power almost in every punch. Two good jabs for Cotto. He's going to have to try to find a way to make it more of a boxing match again. Through seven rounds... Antonio Margarito has already thrown more power punches against Miguel Cotto than any opponent had ever managed in any fight in 32 previous professional fights up to now. Well, we know Cotto has showed his grit before. That's one thing I had. Now, he's been a true warrior. He's been in bad shape a lot of times, and he's came back and not just survived but one fight. So you can't never count him out. But he's never been able to get a figure this big. Though. He's facing epic pressure tonight. Antonio Margarito is bringing the frustrations and the impatience of a long career of waiting to this moment against Miguel Cotto, leaving nothing to chance. Constantly releasing his hands in bunches. 
You know, not only is Cotto the better boxer, I think he's the heavier puncher, but he doesn't take the shots as well as Margarito. Who does? That's a good point, man. Who does? Cotto's landing thudding blows, and Margarito is stepping right through them and dancing forward. He's moving in with his little jig. He's just as happy that he enjoys the situation. But he can't get to Cotto fast enough. Cotto's done a good job of sort of getting the genie back into the bottle in this round. He's limiting Margarito's flow with his footwork and the southpaw stance that he turns to from time to time. Hasn't been tracked as often as he was in the last round. But it still is Margarito pressuring, pressuring, pressuring. Cotto lands a combination and a big uppercut and steps away. That right hand to Margarito keeps coming up just a little short, but it's getting closer and closer. Margarito reaching with the right hand there as Cotto uncharacteristically moved to his right. Miguel Dodgy trying to slip punches. Margarito just throwing and throwing when they get close. This was a round in which Miguel Cotto seemed to want to regain his equilibrium and a mental foothold in the fight. And he may have it back as we go to the night. Put the pail up. Okay, pull it All right, put it here. Put your head in. Okay, get me in there. Get me in there. Get me in there. Get me in there. Get me He's tired, he's tired. How are we going? How are we going? We're going good. I think we're winning. I think we're winning, but don't be overconfident. Okay, okay, okay. Power shots at 8. According to copy box numbers, Cotto 14 out of 33, Margarito 20 out of 59. You heard... Javier Capetillo saying to Margarito, I think we're winning. On Harold Letterman's scorecard, the fight is now even through eight rounds. What a drama we might be looking at in the last four rounds. Jim, I have Cotto up a couple points, but it seems to me that Cotto wants this fight to end. He wishes it was over already, whereas Margarito thinks the fight is just beginning. That Cotto, in a weird way, is in survival mode, wants to run out the clock. I would agree with you on that match. I think that uh, I would maybe have possibly Cotto still ahead, possibly, because we all get excited about the last rounds and the most exciting. But still, Cotto had a lot of rounds in the bank. But it's the momentum of the fight and who seems to be comfortable with the situation. And, and even he as can't Cotto, run out the clock against Antonio Margarito. And even as Cotto does what he just did, which is land a series of unanswered punches, it still is he who gives you the sense that he's shaky. Cotto sitting on the middle rope as Margarito fired away with a bunch of punches again. And the next stop to middle rope is the floor. It's the next place he'll be sitting at if he don't do something soon. The fact is Margarito landed nothing big in the last round and hasn't landed anything big so far in this round. Cotto continues to land the sharper, cleaner punches when he lands. But he's backing away. He's bleeding from the mouth and the nose. He looks tireder than Margarito. All the mental impressions augur in favor of the Mexican star. Many. Now Margarito starts to land again. 
Alberto ducking and slipping and firing back. And still landing clean, crisp, heavy shots to the head with both hands. Just like that. Two good left hooks from Cotto as Margarito continued to try to apply a welter of punches, but without big effect. But body shot landed from Margarito. His best strategy is to keep going to the body. Good left hook by Miguel Cotto. And he backs away. This is a hard round for judges to score. Margarito's applied all the pressure. Cotto clearly landed the more effective blows. Yeah, where's the Anzuel? Okay, okay. Give me some water. Water. Come on, this time your punches should be solid punches, power punches. Come on, your punches are slow. They have to be more powerful. Hold the water, I'm going to put medicine. Come on, Cotto, let's go for it. Box them. This is very interesting. You see Margarita landing all of the punches with pressure at one point, and always as usual. Cotto even tired, exhausted, looked like he's about to quit. Still comes back with the clean punches. Harold Latimer, who'd you give the knights to? I gave it to Miguel Cotto. 86, 85, five rounds to four. Miguel Cotto. Jim, I gotta tell you, he started very, very early, Cotto. In the first five rounds, I thought he won four of them. And then, you know, Antonio Margarito took the fight over. He tracked him down, got him up on the ropes, hammered him with that great uppercut. But all of a sudden, in the tenth round, Miguel Cotto just outpunched him. I thought there was no question that Cotto had a in the ninth round, probably. I thought he had a very, very good ninth round. So I've got Miguel Cotto up one point, five rounds to four, 86, 85. We've got three veteran Las Vegas judges at ringside tonight with a tough job in front of them as we come down the stretch. We've got a wildly enthusiastic crowd, mostly favoring Antonio Margarito, but with a liberal distribution of photo fans, some of whom have made the trip from Puerto Rico and New York. We've got a great fight through nine rounds, as everyone expected would be the case. But you know when you look at the fact that Cotto got about five rounds almost in the bank early in the fight. There has not been a knockdown no, still officially. Right the fight is very close, and Cotto very well could still be ahead on points. As he is on Harold Letterman's guard, Emmanuel. Power shots in the ninth round. Cotto 21 out of 45. Margarito 25 out of 80. Cotto landing 30 total punches in the round. There's a big left-hand shot by Cotto, but he's satisfied to land the one punch and back away. But with Margarito, if you stick around to land the second and third, you're going to get hit in exchange. Another huge left hook by Miguel Cotto. And again, he uses his feet to move away after that. Margarito hasn't been able to land an authoritative punch for the no, last two rounds. No, the clean, which is okay, head snapping, going back punches, and almost always landing by Cotto. You know, unless you're just throwing in his judges. Good right hand this. there by Cotto. He's doing a pretty good job of blocking and ducking and slipping too, Emmanuel. I mean, you talked about Margarito's defense early on. I've been impressed with Cotto's defense since he's been under pressure from the middle part of the fight. Yes, this is maybe one of his best defensive fights as he's fought. He's gotten to get nowhere near as much as he did with Shane Mosley, but Shane had fast hands too. This is so far another round like the ninth. Margarito pressuring and pressuring, Cotto taking advantage of it to land clean shots. And unlike a lot of boxer types who control the action with their skill, it is Cotto still, to my eye, who's landing the harder shots, but it's like hitting a brick wall that continues to close in. Now Margarito with one of his patented rallies. And Cotto just backs away without trying to answer it. Margarito getting the better of him here. This goes up until this Cotto's point. hurt. Cotto's hurt. I had I had Cotto winning this round up until those last flurry. And now Cotto ties Margarito up, acknowledging perhaps that he was hurt on that flurry, and he lands a big right hand to end the round. Tough round to score.
Vamos arriba, Yudito. No te dejes robar los asaltos, ¿ok? No te dejes robar los asaltos. No te dejes robar los rounds. No te dejes robar los rounds, ¿ok? We need these last two rounds. Come on, two more. You hear me? I'm here, I understand. Come on. Pop the punches, you're waiting too much. And you see, in the round, as I said earlier, I had Cotto ready the round. Even though he's tired and fatigued, he was landing the clean, effective blows. In fact, he, but then as the round goes on, here come Margarita with this sort of accumulation of punches where eventually he started to penetrate and landing his shots. Rough round to score. Our shots in round 10 by CompuBox count. Cotto 13 out of 25, Margarito 22 out of 58. Margarito landed 15 power shots in the last minute of the round. Harold Letterman gave the round to Margarito, and the fight is even on his scorecard through 10. A brewing classic in Las Vegas. And when you look at Cotto's face, he looks like the loser. But then he explodes out of nowhere again. But just the judges looking at his face and people watching, looking at Cotto's face, he looks like the guy who's taken the beating. And we know that can be a big factor sometimes, too. Not just the face, but the facial expression, even for the most part. Eleventh round of a scheduled twelve. And then we know Cotto's heavy-handed, and we see him landing these titanic shots, and they don't seem to phase Margarito at all. He's landed the big, clean, head-snapping punches, but never has Margarito been hurt or in trouble in this fight. And it's Cotto who's bleeding from the nose and the mouth and who's been retreating throughout the entire fight. These are big mental impressions for judges. Those little Margarito short shots on the inside now, Emmanuel. Oh, yeah. That's and Cotto it. goes to a knee. Succumbing to the pressure, yeah. much the way Zab Judah succumbed to the pressure against him last year. And that knockdown could ultimately be the difference in the fight. Yeah. Antonio Margarito has finally gotten his man to bend. Miguel Cotto getting beaten up by it a might, it's man. Over, it's over. He's exhausted yeah, I don't and think it's, it's almost it's... over. The punishment has accumulated to the point where Cotto has nothing left. There's no point in Kenny Bayless allowing this to proceed. No, it's over. It's over. And Evangelista Cotto is going to throw in the towel. And Antonio Margarito has the victory he's been waiting for all his life. That is a modern boxing classic. An epic fight with an epic conclusion. The first loss of Cotto's career. And another triumph for Mexico in the ongoing war with Puerto Rico. Jim, you said it. It went from an exhibition of skill to an exhibition of will. Just as Salvador Sanchez outwilled Wilfredo Gomez, just as Julio Cesar Chavez chopped down Edwin Rosario and Hector Camacho, so too does Antonio Margarito finally chop down Miguel Cotto. And Edwin, well, let's take a look at the closing sequence. And this is just a case of Miguel Cotto succumbing to the constant pressure. Two uppercuts. Incidentally, Margarito hit yeah. him while he was yeah. down. down. That's, uh, yeah. That's supposed to be a spot. big thing here in Vegas, right? Yep. But right here, the left uppercut, which I always saw was the most effective punch all night for him. And that's a punch that continuing that his career, Cotto has got hit with. There's the punch that hits Cotto on the ear very clearly while his knee is down. Now here's the end as Cotto goes down again of his own volition. And as Margarito proceeds to keep throwing, this time Kenny Bayless steps in and prevents any more harm. And Evangelista Cotto, Miguel's uncle, got up onto the apron and tossed in a towel. Recognizing what everyone else at ringside side could see. That Cotto was finished. Now watch Evangelista Cotto on the far side, on the apron on the right, as he waves the towel and lets Bayless know that they're done. Well, actually, Cotto had told him, I'm done. All he had to do was the fight himself said, stop the fight, I'm through. But anyway, it's a, it was an exciting night. 
Good win for Margarita and a very still credible performance from Miguel Cotto. I think Cotto was done after the first knockdown. Bela simply didn't recognize it. And now let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on this epic knockout performance by Antonio Margarita. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes, five seconds, round number 11, the winner by TKO victory, now a three-time welterweight champion of the world, the Tijuana Tornado, Antonio Margarito.